we just shipped the new Skeleton Poser system in the SteamVR Unity plugin. It allows developers to quickly and easily implement fully animated hands with complex poses and behaviors when grabbing objects. That's a feature that is rare in all but the highest budget VR games, but hopefully gets more common, as it feels pretty great for immersion. Anyway, I wanted to show off that this system is in fact worth using in a full VR game, so I've added it to Vertigo 2. Those who've seen my other video know that this system is a smoothed out version of a prototype I made a few weeks ago. The main difference is that the new one uses scriptable objects to store poses rather than components, which allows poses to be reused across assets. So that's neat, but it did mean I had to scrap and recreate all the poses I'd authored so far. This wasn't all bad though, because I got the developer experience of starting with the system from scratch. The biggest difficulty was the number of poses to create. Individual poses are a breeze, but when you're making 2-4 to four poses per weapon for 10 weapons, plus a pose or two for every interactable prop, it piles up fast. I'd much rather make a game using this system from the start, making poses as I go, rather than all at once. But that's a minor issue in the grand scheme of things, and the results are still great. I also had to integrate the poser code with my custom interaction system, which was a non-problem, as the system is explicitly designed to be able to modularly tack onto any interaction system. All you have to do is add a few lines of code to the hand, telling it to swap to a poser's output every time you pick up an interactable with a poser script on it, and swap back to skeleton input when you let go. The weapons and equipables in Vertigo 2 are entirely separate from the interaction system, disabling physics on the hand when you swap to them. This means I essentially had to integrate the poser code with another in-game system, now swapping to the pose for a certain gun when you switch to it, and driving a blend for the trigger finger when you pull it. Just like before, this went off without a hitch. The weapons in Vertigo 2 have some moderate interactivity, and all this uses my interaction system, so it was dead simple to add a few poses to foregrips, bolts, slides, etc. Posable hands are so much better than simply hiding the hand or showing a controller instead. The whole world feels much more tactile when your fingers wrap around objects in a believable way. If you're a VR developer who has wanted to add hand poses but hasn't known how or hasn't had the time, I highly recommend at least taking a look at this asset. I've done a thorough video tutorial of the system, a link to which can be found in the description, as well as a link to the GitHub, documentation, and asset store page. Thanks for watching.